guys, welcome back to another Putting On Manhood moment. Now last time we were together we looked at Joshua giving the nation of Israel three choices in life. At the end of his life he rallied them together, he wanted to encourage them to follow God wholeheartedly, and he gave them three options. First they could follow the gods of the cultures around them, or they could follow the gods they grew up with, their generational gods, or they could choose to follow the God that set them free from their bondage of Israel and was great, took them into their promised land. And Joshua gave this great rousing speech. He got them all fired up and he said, okay now, choose you this day who you're gonna serve. And immediately the people responded, we're gonna serve the Lord. You know, they were on fire, they were fired up. They made their choice. They made it fast, they made it quickly. And honestly, it was a little bit too quick for Joshua's taste because he said, listen, you all didn't think about this. You didn't weigh what it cost to serve the Lord. You got caught up in the heat of the moment and you didn't really think it through. And then he made, began to show them, you know, you people have had issues your whole life where you struggle with this and this and this. And if you don't overcome those areas, you're not gonna keep your promise. And because you made a promise to God, and if you break it, you're gonna be in worse shape than if you never made the promise at all. So he challenged them to really think about it, to analyze it and decide on a non-emotional basis, but on a smart, knowledge-based basis, where are they gonna serve the Lord? And guys, we need to do the same thing. We just can't hear this message and say, putting on manhood, yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna put on manhood. We have to count the cost. We have to look and say, how far will I go for God? I mean, think about it. It's easy to say in a heathen moment, whatever God calls me to do, I'll do it. But stop and think about it. What if God called you, say you were working at a job, you've been working for years to work towards this big promotion, you're waiting your whole life to get it, and one day that job comes along, they offer you the promotion, but along with this job also comes another 20 hours of work a week and less time at home with your family and friends. And what if God says to you, don't take that promotion, I know it's more money, but you need to be spending that time with your family and friends. Would you do it? Would you go that far for God? What if God said to you, there's a family down the street that really needs the financial help. I want you to take that $1,000 that you've been saving for your family vacation, and I want you to give it to them. Would you go that far? You see, it's easy to say in the heat of the moment, I'll do whatever God wants me to do. But when it comes down to bare knuckles of what it really means, when the time comes and God asks you to do it and you aren't willing to go that far, you're in worse shape by making the promise and not doing it than if you never made the promise at all. So I guess what I'm trying to say to you is I want you to count the cost. I mean, there's no better life than serving God and putting on manhood. But it's also not always candy canes and gumdrops. There's times where it's hard. And God asks you to do things that are way out of your comfort zone. Take these videos, for instance. This is not my comfort zone. Standing and talking and sharing my feelings on video, I someday I'm going to put a blooper reel out. You'll see how bad I really am at it. But, you know, God's calling me to do it and I have to step out of my comfort zone because I said I will put on manhood and do whatever I can to help other men achieve the place that you want them to be in life. You know, sometimes God says, step out of your comfort zone and we have to be willing to do it. So that's why we're looking at this topic today. I'm not discouraging you from putting on manhood, but I want you to really realize what you're saying you're going to do. Now at the end of it, I'm sure and I hope and pray that you'd come to a place and say, you know, whatever the cost, I am willing to pay it. I will serve the Lord. And that's what the nation of Israel did. Joshua said to him, you've struggled with this, this, and this. It's gonna be hard. And at the end they said, okay, but we're still, we're gonna to choose to serve the Lord. And that's the choice I want you to make. After you analyze it and you think about it and you see what it really means to put on manhood, to still have the passion in your fire inside to say, I wanna be what God wants me to be and I'm gonna put on manhood. So that's what we want to talk a little bit about today. Next week we're going to talk about a new area of putting on manhood. Until then, if you want to work ahead a little bit, get a copy of the book, Putting on Manhood. It's available at mantoaministries.com. It's also at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and other online retailers. Also, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And when you do that, you'll be able to know when we put up new videos and things that are coming down the pike for Mantor Ministries and Putting on Manhood. So I encourage you to take a second click on that button. And we'll see you next week for another Putting on Manhood moment. Until then, have a great week, and together we're going to grow in God and we're going to change the world.